Evening, how are you? Hope you're having a fantastic evening. So, do you want to create your ideal life faster? Do you, do you find yourself not listening to that inner voice? You know that little voice that keeps you uh, awake at night? That little voice that reminds you, oh, this is what I'd really like in my life. But there's a part of you that perhaps people pleases or perhaps is fearful of being rejected, of creating a bit of conflict, of upsetting somebody else. So you tend to keep it inside what you would really like for your life. And it's, it's difficult, it's frustrating. So, you know, working as a coach and working as a counsellor, I see this time and time again. And also I've experienced myself. And what, what, I've, what I have found is that there are four common mistakes that people often make when they're creating their ideal life. It's, it's designing a life that you would really love. And the little known errors, these can create inner doubt, they impact your confidence, and they impact your self-trust. It's like you haven't got your back anymore. It's like you be betray yourself. So, once that self-doubt has sort of landed, or it has started to create a bit of a spiral, downwards in you it is really tough to bounce back so in this I've got to stop saying so I've noticed I say that a lot but in this Facebook live what I'm going to be sharing is the four common mistakes that people make when designing their best life these these are destructive uh, they're often unnoticed mistakes people make in their lives. I know firsthand, so this is why I'm talking about it. Instead of, instead of wondering and being resentful why your life isn't actually working out the way you would like it to be, what's going to happen is you will be able to show up confidently with a life that you are intentionally designing, because that's, that's the path, and you will have a clear clear path forward and constantly expanding into abundance, success and love, whatever that looks like for you. If any of this is talking to you or you can relate to it, I'd love to hear your comments. So whether it's live or whether it's the replay, hashtag live, hashtag replay, let me know that you're here. I love to read what you all say and I'll get back to them. Get to the comments after after this Facebook Live. So, I've uncovered the four common mistakes that people often make when wanting, wanting to create their ideal life. And these, these little known errors, they create inner doubt and they can actually really affect you. So, the first mistake is not creating stillness and being able to explore what you want from within. This isn't an outside job. You're not going to be able to create your ideal life from looking outside of yourself. When you are creating your ideal life, it's being able to take time to stop to be able to drop inside and really connect with your inner world about what you really want. Um, often we are so uh, led astray from the people in our world and we can be yes, 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 yes. However, it isn't what you actually want. It isn't creating your ideal world. It's creating your partner's ideal world trying to make them happy. And you know what, it's not your job to make them happy. So that would be the first, that would be my number one, is people don't have stillness. They don't go inside, they don't explore what they really, really want. 
you know, your quality of your life is the quality of questions that you ask yourself. It's getting to know yourself intimately about what you really want. My number two is the validation. And I talked into this, but I want to talk more into it. The validation from outside of yourself. So when we have validation from outside of ourselves, that often begins when we're quite young. So when we're young, we look outside of ourselves for validation, to know that we are enough, to know that we are, we are loved, that we belong. We look outside to our parents. And if you were with parents who weren't overly good at that, and a lot of you listening to me will probably resonate with this, that at times you didn't feel like you were enough or that you belonged or that you were good enough. And so you still have this validation type pattern within you. So you're still looking outside to get validation and generally from your partner. So in creating your ideal life, if you're looking for validation from outside of yourself, it's still not coming from within you, is it? It isn't going to land and uh, create that beautiful inner warmth and inner knowing and inner trust within yourself. So that is my number two. My number three of the four uncommon, the four common mistakes that people make when they're wanting and trying to create their ideal life is there is a fear of rejection and it can be very real. If I decide to do this or go down this path or try this, my partner may not like it. My mother may not like it. People in your world may not like it. And for a lot of people, the cost of rejection is too high. So you just you just let it go. I will work in with you. I'll adapt with you. So the fear of rejection, it stops you from actually creating your ideal life. And it can really hurt you unless you heal this. My number four is... This is, a, this is a really um, big mistake that people make when they're wanting to create their ideal life, is they're not comfortable being in growth. So if you're wanting to create an ideal life, you have to be open to being uncomfortable. I've just come off the call from my inner circle group and uh, we do group coaching and tonight we were talking about the neuro pathways and creating new ones uh, we cannot create new ones if we have a fear of growth a fear of feeling uncomfortable it is the absolute ideal that when you are growing and learning and expanding and getting out of what you know and creating new direction, new life, you're gonna be mighty uncomfortable. And it's, it's learning in time how to be with that. It gets easier, I can assure you. However, still to this day, I've been learning and growing for many, many years. Uh, I'm quite uncomfortable, quite a bit of the time. However, in that growth, that expansion, it's like this inner spark inside of me. It's, I'm alive, I'm growing, I'm learning. I'm getting to know the parts of me that um, have been masked, have been just covered over in crap, baggage, trauma. And so as you clear out your baggage, your trauma, your past, your patterning, your beliefs, they're disturbed neuropathways. You are then, it is so crucial to have the parallel of the new neuropathways. So all of it is uncomfortable, yes. However, it's, you've got to be open to being able to be uncomfortable. So they're the four common mistakes. There's little stillness and being able to explore what you really want. You look for validation from outside of yourself. You have a fear of rejection. And also you're not open to being uncomfortable in growth. 
So, if you want to design your best life, you have to be very intentional and you have to have... So what I want to go now is I want to talk into four ways um, as to how you can begin designing your best life. And I actually have a formula. I have the six pillars of change um, for your best life. And the six pillars of change, I'm going to talk into four of them because I've only got this window of time, so I'm going to run out of time. So I am going to go to the first one. Is So with the pillars of change, one of them, the first one, is around um, your own self-care, but it goes so much deeper than that. It's about actually being able to strengthen yourself and to stop running. And what I mean by strengthening yourself and to stop running is to be able to be very conscious of the masks that you have. We all have masks. Uh, and, you know, some of my masks were, hey, I'm okay, and the pleaser mask and the humor mask and there's many masks is is so important to know what your masks are when do you wear them how do they come out also your walls what walls come up are dependent on how much inner work you've done you need to know what are the walls that come up that you the adaptations to protect yourself it's when you strengthen yourself and you stop running from yourself, you will begin exploring all of this. And in the six pillars of change for an empowered life, and the first pillar is um, looking after yourself, the care of yourself, you will begin to notice when you judge yourself, when you criticize yourself, it's really becoming conscious of what, what you do. So the six pillars of change, yeah, the pillar, the first pillar is um, the care of yourself. And with that, when you begin to unpack all of that, you will begin to actually really strengthen yourself. You'll feel a strength inside of yourself. You will know when you're criticizing yourself, when you're judging yourself, when a mask is up, when a wall is up. So that's the first pillar. Um, the second, if any of this is speaking to you, I'd love to hear your comments. Hashtag live, hashtag replay. Pop it in the comments what is speaking to you. Uh, if we go into the second uh, pillar, which is um, healthy boundaries, it's knowing when and what you want. So it's having goals around this, goals for clarity over what you want and need. And so when we look at boundaries in the six pillars of change when with boundaries it's knowing let me go back a step it's creating well defined boundaries but it's it's also having goals around that so it's when when you have goals so all of this we cover goals hugely um, in the six pillars um, but it's choosing specific accelerated steps to achieve your goals. So goals are for clarity over what you want and what you need. When you intentionally design your life, you will never be without goals. You will know what they are. And with the second pillar around um, healthy boundaries, you will start setting really intentional and strong you know, the SMART goal, specific, uh, meaningful, attainable, uh, you know, all of that with with boundaries and you will feel it in your body and you will know when you break your own inner boundary. All of this is your own inner work. So if I go to the third way to design your best life, which comes from the six pillars, it's looking at your significance. Um, so with significance, it's your purpose. It's, it's your reason for being. And with the uh, pillar three, assertiveness, when we grow into our assertiveness, there's just this inner knowing of you are, you are on track. 
and you you know your why you you know what you're doing in the world and why you're here and that assertiveness again is it in a in a job and in the six pillars of change we go into great detail uh into assertiveness so it's it's knowing so do you do you notice i suppose questions to ask yourself is do you or have you sat with your what's my principal role in life and is there assertiveness around that um, or, or the compass another way that I look at it when we are assertive we have this inner knowing we have this inner compass we it's it's our motive for motivation it's what gets us going it's our energy life force within ourselves so assertiveness we cover that uh, in the six pillars of change that's the third pillar and looking more into that and have you questioned well what's your calling why are you here why are you on this planet so all of us i know i'm throwing a lot of questions uh but they're really really valid questions and when you know this you are going to be so much more happier in your own skin you are going to be very intentional and I use that word a lot intentional in how you design your best life so the fourth pillar is nurturing our forgiveness and that begins with you nurturing forgives forgiveness is knowing who you are um, and understanding that when you hang on to something that someone may have done to you and you're not honoring forgiveness that hurts you and so we open all of that up um, in this um, designing your best life and looking at forgiveness because forgiveness is I've done years of having to forgive I'm not going to go into that now but I do believe that when you can let go of that and also the forgiveness for yourself that then creates so much more energy inside of you to create your ideal life. And I just want to speak into a program that is launching at the end of this month. It's called Design Your Best Life, Six Pillars of Change for an Empowered Life. But, but in this program, it, it helps you be flexible and adaptable to actually be okay with change and with setbacks and to be open to adjust your goals and plans as necessary uh, while also staying very focused on your overall vision of you know a fulfilling life and I do believe it is so important to actually design your best life and that's what we do in this program and when we design our life you will just feel so much more motivated you will have so much more energy you will be on purpose you will feel you'll feel happier uh, in your own skin so if we go back to what I was originally um, talking about and you know those common mistakes when you're designing your uh, best life they won't occur because you're going to be in a group of like-minded women and you are going to explore what you really want um, it, especially between sessions you will bring in that stillness you will not look for validation from outside of your life outside of yourself when you're designing your best life and you will get stronger in knowing that nobody can reject you the only one who can reject you is you if somebody else reject, rejects you it's about you not hooking in and taking that personally and it's being able to stay very grounded and knowing that the only rejection you can do is the one of yourself and we talk so much more into that in design your best life uh, but also being uncomfortable growing uh, so Look, I really hope this has been helpful. I've perhaps given you a little nugget of gold. If, if this has stirred some interest in you and you would like to really put some energy and time into designing your best life, 
being able to let go of rejection, being able to bring in more stillness, be able to learn how to be more mindful. You're going to learn all of this in this in this program. Um, direct message me and I'll send you through the details. It starts at the end of June. And, uh, you know, design your best life. You can do it without the program. It just will take a bit longer. Um, and also, often we're not as intentional. That's what's so fantastic about coaching is we become accountable to a group. There's an energy. Uh, and we get a lot clearer um, on what we want. Look, I've run out of time. I really hope this has been helpful. Uh, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments. I love bringing these Facebook Lives uh, to you. But anyway, love living in your life. And do you know what? The power of change is within you. Expanding with abundance, success, and love. See ya.